Hi, Evelyn Malava here, Broker Associate with Remax Tanning Country, right here in Winter Springs, Florida. I'm here to shed light on the 2022 housing market and bring your market update for January 2023. This entire update is based on single family homes only, not on any attached housing, vacant land, condos, nor manufactured homes. As you may have already heard, homes are staying on the market longer. As of recording of this video, we now have 59 active listings. I'm going to give you sales price of homes that sold and closed based on square feet. This should make it a little easier if you're trying to figure out what your home is worth. I'm also including this chart which summarizes all single family homes that sold and closed in winter springs for all of 2022. As you see in October, the average sales price closed was $404,394 and the average price per square feet was $231.96 and the average days on the market were 21. In November, the average sales price was $442,814 and the average sales price per square foot was $228.67 and the average days on the market were 31. In December, the average sales price was $457,004 and the average price per square foot was $233.51 and the average days on the market were 30. This is still considered a seller's market and although homes are staying on the market longer, prices are holding firm. Six months worth of inventory is considered a balanced market. Less than that, it's a seller's market. More than that, it's a buyer's market. As I look into our current inventory of 59 active single family homes, I notice the average days on the market are now 40. It's been over a year since I've seen a house stay on the market this long. We are nowhere near a balanced real estate market, which is a healthy market. We still have a shortage of inventory, and that's because so many homeowners refinanced at those super low interest rates, and it really makes no sense for them to sell their home unless they absolutely Absolutely have to leave the area. Another reason for low inventory is because school is in session and families generally don't relocate during these months. Although homes are staying on the market longer, we're still receiving multiple offers on these homes that have been completely renovated. These homes have newer roof, hot water heater, AC, new flooring, new cabinets, new countertops, the color inside is neutral and a clean and landscaped curb appeal or some semblance of this. These homes are selling faster and for more money. Part of the reason for this is because interest rates are so high and buyers are now putting all of their money into the down payment and or buying down the interest rates. So understandably, they have no money left over after closing, making this home very attractive to these buyers who can afford it. This type of home is not normal, it's an anomaly. Most of our inventory has not been updated. So what we see more often are buyers demanding home repairs. Although we use and ask this sales contract, buyers are now negotiating and asking for repairs or contribution for repairs after closing. This is when an experienced real estate agent becomes necessary. We now must prepare our sellers for negotiation and bring our buyers down to reality, letting them know they can't have it all. And all the while keeping sellers and buyers emotions under control so that at the end of the transaction, everyone is happy with what they got. I have been selling real estate in Central Florida since 1989 and in typical Florida real estate style, trying to predict or anticipate this market is impossible. Our market tends to shift in either direction pretty quickly. We are just coming out of the holiday season, which is typically a slow real estate market. Before that, we experienced the craziest market ever. Buyers were waiving appraisal, inspections, paying $100,000 or more over asking price, allowing the seller to stay in the home free of rent for many months. And in 2020, when COVID hit and we went into lockdown, so many buyers canceled contracts and so many of us thought that homeowners would start to lose their homes. Buyers canceled contracts thinking they can come back and buy these homes for pennies on the dollar. Instead, the government handed out so much money passed a moratorium which would not allow banks to foreclose on homes and employers allowed their employees to work out of their home causing a mass migration of people moving into Florida from other states. We witnessed the largest home appreciation in the shortest time we've ever seen. Homes appreciated 38% in two years. The school year will end May 25th 
2023 and we will see inventory increase buyers purchasing homes and settling down before the school year begins again if you're trying to sell your home price it as accurate as possible don't use comps from homes that sold in august or earlier 2022 the market has shifted away from those prices already and don't price it high hoping that a buyer will pay more than what it's worth buyers are no longer waiving appraisal causing constraints on sales price they are no longer waiving home inspections or paying over asking price and if we do slip into a recession or interest rates continue climbing homes will only stay on the market longer and that doesn't look good for a home this is the most detailed channel on all things real estate in winter springs florida please subscribe for more on living in winter springs florida and hooray to fha va and first-time home buyers you can finally get back into the market this type of buyer had it rougher than just about any other buyer in the last couple of of years sellers were only entertaining all cash or conventional offers and adamant about not accepting any other type of loan making it very difficult for this buyer to own a home you have been so patient and now it's time to finally purchase your home and you don't have to waive appraisal or home inspection nor pay over asking price I know interest rates are a lot higher than what they were at the beginning of 2022 when perhaps you were looking to purchase interest rates are now hovering around six percent as a recording of this video i would suggest you purchase as soon as possible because this is an ever shifting market and interest rates may continue increasing until inflation comes under control i know you may be hearing marry the house date the rate meaning purchase the house and you can always refinance the rate however that's not necessarily accurate for you to be able to refinance you must have equity in the home and if home prices do drop you will lose your equity my advice is to purchase a home with a mortgage payment that you and your family can live with comfortably for many years to come don't take on a higher payment thinking that you can refinance when interest rates drop again interest rates may or may not come down and you may or may not lose equity in your home there is a lot of noise out out there people trying to predict where the market is going but now more than ever you need a knowledgeable local real estate professional myself and my team are here to help you buy or sell and as always thank you for watching my video and I hope you found this information useful